Hello, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to talk about HDMI over Ethernet adapters. So two common types, you have the one that runs down two Ethernet cables and you have one that runs down just a one Ethernet cable. Now obviously these ones would be a lot more desirable because you've only got to one, run one cable between them rather than two so it's going to take up less room. Downside is they're more expensive. Now what I did is I got the cheapest of the cheap. So basically these were on eBay, these particular ones here were on eBay for just over three pounds delivered and these ones were 13 pounds again delivered, that's UK pounds. Now. They're supposed to work up to 30 meters with 1080p. I can't get them to work up to 30 meters. I'm using Cat6 cable and what happens is they become pixelated. On a 15 meter lead, it works perfectly. So just bear that in mind. If you are gonna be running them over a big distance, perhaps don't go for the cheaper ones. Maybe go for the more expensive ones or go for a brand. Read some of the reviews on Amazon and see what other people say about them. On these cheap ones, I can confirm on the cable I'm using, it's pure copper, it's Cat6, but it is UTP. It's not shielded cable. So maybe if it was shielded, it might make a little bit of a difference. But uh, on this one, I can't get a signal at all up to 30 meters. On these ones, I get a signal, but it's pixelated. Now, HDMI, what is HDMI? HDMI are these cables here. You will have come across them if you're connecting up your PS4 or your Xbox to your TV, your laptop to your TV, your Roku media player to your TV. Most things nowadays use a HDMI to connect up. It, they transmit picture and sound, so it does everything down the one cable. And an ethernet cable is the cable that you would use for a wired connection between, for example, your router and your PC or your Xbox or whatever you're, whatever you're connecting up. They're these connectors here. Now, why would you want to run, why would you need to run these? For example, if you had this thing away from your TV, if you had this tucked away in an audiovisual cabinet or under the stairs or something, then you need to get the HDMI signal out from here into your TV. Same thing if you had your set-top box, for example, your Sky box or your Virgin Media box under the stairs, you're going to have to get that signal away from that box onto your TV. So by far the best way to do it is on a HDMI cable because they just work really, really well. But the distances, normally you can't really go much above 20 meters with these unless you start looking at more expensive cables that amplify the signal. So if you want a cheap way of doing it, or if your house has already got cable installed, and let's say you only need to go up to 20 meters away, or 25 meters away, then by all means give these ones a go. Other limitations of them are other size. Now this one's here, this one here is okay, but if you look at the width of these ones, imagine now on your TV, if you've already got HDMI lead plugged in, a lot of the time the ports are close to each other. Well, if your ports are close to each other, you're not gonna be able to plug that one in because it's gonna foul. So for example, on my desktop over here, the HDMI port is under the VGA ports and under the USB ports. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to plug that in there because it doesn't fit. So then I'm gonna to have to look into getting a little HDMI extender like that so you can plug it in and then you can plug that into there like so so it doesn't foul anything. So just bear that in mind before you go out and buy them. Have a look at your equipment first of all and see how close the ports are to them. Now if you have a look at these ones here that travel over the one cable, you will see that they're labelled up as TX and RX. RX means receive and TX means transmit. So basically you would be plugging in the transmit into your media player or your set-top box or your Xbox or your computer. You would be plugging in the receive, the RX, into your TV that's going to receive the signal. So this is the one that's going to push out the signal and this is the one that's going to receive. It will not work if you get them the wrong way around. And on these ones here, they're labelled up one and two on the bottom. So you again, you can't get them crossed. The cable that you put into number one this side has to go into number one that side and two into two. If you go one to two and two to one, again, it's not going to work. So when you plug them in, if they're not working, swap over the leads. Again, if these are not working, make sure that you, you know, swap them over. Make sure that you've got the right ones in the right side. Now, if you're thinking, will these work over power line adapters? The answer is no. So power line adapters 
are these little adapters here that push the ethernet signal all through the electric cabling in your house. So if you were thinking, for example, of getting these and then getting a short lead from there into here and then doing the same on the other side, it's not gonna work. These HDMI over ethernet adapters do not work over power line adapters. If you want something that does work over a real ethernet signal or through power line adapters, look into something called HDMI over LAN, L-A-N, local, local area network. HDMI over LAN, Google that. The problem is they're really expensive. The cheapest ones I could find were 120 pounds, but the idea of them are great because the HDMI signal will then travel through all your routers, your switches, everything. And anywhere that you've got a network point working, you will then be able to have a HDMI cable working and the distances are huge as well. So that's something to look into. So I'm just gonna show you these working now using 15 meter leads. So to begin with, we're just gonna connect up a little Roku media player using the cheap three pound HDMI over ethernet adapters. So I've got two Cat6 cables, nice pure copper cables. So I'm gonna plug this end into number one, like so. And then on the other side, I have to plug the same cable into number one as well. So this is the other end of the cable that I'm gonna plug into number one. And now I have to do the same with the other cable into two, two, and two, like that. So let's plug one end into the HDMI here, and then we're going to plug the other end into the little TV that I've just temporarily set up over here. And again, see here, they're close to each other. So if one port was in use, you're not gonna be able to use these because if you have a look there now, there's not enough room to get that second cable in. It'd be really tight. Right, so that's plugged in there. Now they are, when they do work, they do, it is, they do work really easily because all you do is turn them on. There's nothing, nothing fancy to them at all. So with this one, it's plugged into HDMI one. So obviously you need to put your source to HDMI one you know, or your input to HDMI 1. And there we go. Now you can see it's pixelating a bit there. Just make sure I've got these leads in properly. There. And there, just make sure it's fully in. There, okay. Right. And if you have a look now, that's working at 1080p. So if I was to go to settings, and then go down to display type. You can see there 1080p, and the picture's nice and clear. Okay, so that's it working over the, uh, the, the cheap adapter using the two HDMI leads. Now I'm just gonna show you the other one working from the PC over, the t over to the TV. So let me just set that one up. Okay, so I'm just using the one lead now, so I'm gonna put the transmit into the computer side. So that's the TX, it's gonna go into here. And now if we go over to the TV, I'm gonna plug this end into the TV. And we'll see there, it's a bit dark, but we've got HDMI one up there at the top. So let's just plug it in. I've unplugged all the other leads just for the sake of this video. Right, and there we go. We now have the computer picture transmitted over there. So whatever you see here, you will now see up there. So you can set your YouTube movie or whatever play in there and it will play up here. And in this video today, right, and if you have a look, you can see that it's transmitting the sound as well as the picture. And, using the wireless adapter for and there's no delay or anything, it works well. So first of all, just lower that down. Okay, so as you can see, the picture's absolutely perfect. So these are good because A, they're cheap, and secondly, if you were to get better ones, they would be able to work at a good distance. If you can do so, run HDMI cables because they are better. But a lot of people would argue that running, you know, for example, Cat6 cables all around the house and then putting these dongles at the end would be better 
because then as technology improves in the future, you can then just change the ends, so you can just change the adapters rather than changing the whole cable. So for example, if you were to run HDMI cables in your house, in 10 or 15 years time as technology moves on, they might be redundant and then you've got to replace the cable. Well, if you were just to run decent Cat6 throughout the house, then as technology moves on, all you've got to do is replace the ends off the cable, so the adapters at the other end. So there is an argument to do that. Uh, you know, that, that, that decision really is up to you. But uh, these adapters, I, I've been, to, if I'm honest, I've been a little bit disappointed. I would have thought that they would have worked up to 30 meter using Cat6 pure copper cable. In my instances, they didn't. But over 15 meters, it works well. And 15 meters, again, is quite a distance. You know, you might be lucky. It, for you, it might work up to 25, 30 meters. So uh, hopefully you did find the video a little bit useful and uh, it showed a little bit of insight into these little adapters. But what I would say is probably don't go for the cheapest ones you can find. Have a look on Amazon and have a look at the, the reviews and stuff, see what other people are saying about them, because I wouldn't personally recommend these very cheap ones. Okay, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care now.